Welcome to another configuration tutorial hosted by UPG. In this tutorial, we will show you the setup of RTX and starting a survey using Triple Access 2020. To start this survey, you will need either T7, T10, or TSC7, and a receiver with Wi Fi capabilities. We would recommend an R10, R10 Model 2, or R12 receiver. We will be using the TSC7 and R12 receiver. For this demonstration. Also for this demonstration we will be creating a 3-day RTX demo code. This code will be created where we can then apply this code to the receiver and start a survey. This works the same way as an annual subscription code purchased from UPG. Please turn on your receiver. Once the receiver has powered up we will be connecting to it via Wi-Fi from the controller. Select the Wi-Fi icon at the bottom right hand corner and search for your device. The Wi-Fi name will be GNSS and the last four digits of the serial number. There is no Wi-Fi password for the R10, R10 Model 2 or R12, but if you are using an SPS 985 or 986, the Wi-Fi password will be ABCDE, ABCDE, all in lowercase and no spaces. Once the Wi-Fi connection has been made, open up a web browser, either Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, and in the web address bar, enter in 192.168.142.1, and then select Enter. A Trimble page will open up and ask for a username and password. The username is admin in lowercase, and the password is either password, all in lowercase, or for the R12 in this demonstration, it will be capital R12 underscore the serial number. This will apply to any R10 or R12 with firmware higher than 5.44 or 6.04. Once you have logged into the receiver, on the left hand side select receiver status and then receiver options. This has all the options inside the receiver, for example base rover and what constellation codes have been installed. As you can see, there is no option for CenterPoint RTX. An option code will be generated and sent to either UPG or yourself as the customer. This code needs to be copied and pasted into the option code at the bottom of the screen and select Install Option. Select OK on the message that appears on the screen. As you can see, CenterPoint RTX appears with an expiry date. We can close down the web browser and launch Trimble Access 2020. Open or start a new project. We will open an existing job folder and select new. The job name will be RTX config. A coordinate system will need to be selected. We will use Australia GDA 94 zone 56. A geoid will be selected we will use OzGeoid 09 with a project height of 10 meters. Select enter and store. Once you have checked over the settings, press accept. In the top left hand corner, select the hamburger, settings, survey styles. We will create a new survey style. We will name it RTX config and the survey type will be GNSS. Select rover options, RTK as a survey type and broadcast format will be RTX SV. The difference between SV and Internet RTX format is the corrections will be broadcasted via satellites or Internet using a SIM card. Select the antenna type. We will select R12 internal. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and tick on all constellations and turn off tilt functions. Press accept and then store and the survey style will be saved. Press escape to the main menu. Select the receiver icon at the top of the page and we will make a Bluetooth connection to the receiver. Select the search button at the bottom of the page and an automatic search for your device will be made. If your device is not in the selection, it will appear in discovered devices on the left hand side. Select your receiver based on the serial number and at the bottom right hand corner select the message that appears and add your device. If a password is needed it will be four zeros. Allow the connection and close all windows. 
Select your receiver in the Connect to GNSS Rover option. Select Accept twice and this will take you back to the main menu. Select the receiver icon at the top of the page and then select Start Survey. Select RTX Config Survey Style and select Australia as your tectonic plate. Press Escape to the main menu. Make sure you are in an open area for your receiver to initialize. This can take from 2 to 15 minutes. For this particular demonstration, it took around 5 minutes for initialization. Once initialized, check onto a known control point and you are able to start your survey. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please call our support hotline on 1800 800 874.